In vivo presents the Cystic Fibrosis CRISPR HoloLens Experience. CRISPR, a revolutionary tool for the future of gene therapy. With this technique, scientists may edit genes with unforeseen speed, accuracy, and precision, giving it the potential to one day treat human genetic diseases like cystic fibrosis. Although still in its infancy, this technique continues to provide insights into the workings of the human genome. Join us on a journey through the human body as we explore how CRISPR may be used to treat diseases like cystic fibrosis in the future. Proceed. Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disorder which affects several organs within the body. Passageways, ducts, and airways become blocked through the production of abnormally thick mucus. Before you is a hologram of a patient with cystic fibrosis. Fix your gaze on any label and say select to learn more about each affected organ. Once you are done, say zoom in and we will dive into the lungs to get a closer look. Lungs. Buildup of mucus clogs the airways and collects bacteria, leading to infection. Skin. Malfunctioning of sweat glands leads to excessively salty sweat. Pancreas. Buildup of mucus prevents digestive enzymes from reaching the gut. In some cases, this can result in diabetes. Liver. Blockage of ducts in the liver prevents digestive enzymes from reaching the gut. Intestines. Lack of digestive enzymes causes undigested food to block the intestines. Reproductive tract. Buildup of mucus within the reproductive tract can lead to infertility. Zoom in. Within the lungs, mucus becomes thick and sticky, leading to infection and difficulty breathing. To try and repair this, we will have to see where the mucus is coming from. Zoom in. Now we see the alveoli in the lung. These structures are lined with epithelial cells that produce mucus. When these cells are defective, water balance is altered, resulting in the thick and sticky mucus we can see now. To understand how these cells become defective, we must move deeper to the cellular level. Zoom in. Here, at the cell, the balance of water becomes affected when CFTR transporters are unable to regulate ion flow across the cell membrane. These transporters may be defective or absent, thus trapping chloride ions within the cell. This results in water moving away from the mucus, making it thick and sticky. Now let's continue into the nucleus to locate and repair the mutation in the CFTR gene causing this ion imbalance. Zoom in. Here, we see the gene that encodes the CFTR protein. It has undergone a genetic mutation, resulting in a defective ion channel. Say, apply CRISPR to remove the mutated gene. Apply CRISPR. The CRISPR-Cas9 system is a genome editing tool composed of two key molecules. The first is an enzyme called Cas9, which acts as the molecular scissors for removing DNA. The second is a piece of RNA called guide RNA, which guides Cas9 to the right part of the genome. Once the mutated gene is removed, the cell can respond by repairing the damaged DNA, possibly restoring CFTR protein function. Zoom out. With our mutation repaired, the CFTR protein is able to regulate the flow of chloride and thus water across the cell. Zoom out. The result is a mucus layer that is thin and fluid to clear the airways of dirt and bacteria. Zoom out. Breathing improves as the airways open up, reducing stress on the lungs. Zoom out. For patients with cystic fibrosis, this kind of treatment may one day become a reality as we continue to push the boundaries of future technologies like CRISPR.